Hey everyone, on a recent Japan study mission, we just watched Bob Taylor's video on courage and how it was the most important ingredient to really stepping out and making things happen. And then I asked some of the members on the bus their take on courage in relationship to starting their own businesses. Oh, hi Bob, I've just watched your video and I think this story sums up the message that you're getting across in that video. My two brothers and I have a company called Seating Map and uh, in January or December 2007, uh, I was in my final year of school at university. I was the head boy or school president uh, of my school at the time. And I came home on a uh, Wednesday evening and I said to my parents, I think Jonathan Ryan and I should uh, start a company to make chairs for patients with disabilities. And uh, Jonathan and Ryan were working at the time I was at school and my, my mother said, okay, that uh, what's your plan? When are you going to do this? And I said, well, this is the 12th of December 2007. Um, I'm going to stay until the end of January. I'm going to get my exams done. I'm going to pass my exams to make sure that I you know, do really, really well and then I'm going to leave. And my father said, well, if you're going to leave, why don't you leave tomorrow? And I thought about it a little while and I said, okay, let's do it. So I went to school the next day. I you know, went to the headmaster and says, I'm going to leave school. Um, and my brothers and I are going to set up a company to make chairs for people with disabilities. And uh, I'm going to leave today. This is my last day of school. We're going to you know, sell these all around the world. We're going to do all these things. And he didn't know whether to congratulate me or to lock me up. <laughs> But uh, I left anyway and we started our business. And yeah, it took courage. 2008 was when the recession started, the global financial crisis. So it uh, probably was the worst time if you were going to start a business, but we did it anyway, we've persevered. And here we are 10 years later and uh, things have gone pretty well. Wow. So Ma amazing story, awesome. Mm -hmm. Nick, 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 any thoughts about your company? With me, I think there were two, two major points in my life where I really had to have courage to change what I did and I think the first one was um, my wife and I were working in large corporations um, just living our lives really and my young my older brother rang me and said do you want to come and start a, a business or help me out with a small business in Tasmania and at the time it was a big thing to leave a successful corporate career and and just jump jump off the cliff really um, and we did do that and I think um, it was probably the best day of my life because it, it enabled me to to grow a business from start and and um, it's been a really good success I think the other major uh, time in our lives where uh, we, we were at a crossroads where we had only two stores and the retail market was very competitive and we didn't really know whether we wanted to uh, contract and just have one little store and just focus on that one or whether we'd take the bigger step and grow quickly and, and, that, and that to enable us to have scale and you know go from debt free to take on debt take on a lot more employees and and grow the business and we went with the, the harder option uh, which was to just to grow and to take bring our people with us and now we're you know up to 11 locations 700 employees and thankfully um going okay so what, what would you say about the courage component how, how much is that an ingredient in your mind do you think it's a very large ingredient because you, the human nature is to to not do the difficult thing yeah. and the difficult thing is is something that um few people take that road and there are times where you wake up and you're motivated by fear rather than uh, fear of failure right. um, and the responsibility that you have that you're employing all these people and, and many people think that through and think I don't want to be going down that path but you need to because sometimes the difficult step is the one that will enable you to grow and, and achieve what you're able to do. And, so. and I'm curious, did you put your ego at risk when you did that, made that decision? Absolutely. And did you put your livelihood at risk? Absolutely. Your reputation? Absolutely. Yeah. Stress, family. And at the time, it didn't it didn't seem obvious necessarily, but yeah, but looking back, looking like back, that, absolutely. it's very easy. Mm. Yeah. So I encourage you all to step off the cliff. And I think the real message here is for all of us as we've learned all this profound learning here in the last three days 
do you have the courage to go back and really make change in your organizations? It's, That's really the question. It absolutely has to be the case. Yeah. And it requires courage. This is not an easy road, but the most rewarding road, as you three have demonstrated, very rewarding, and Nick, very rewarding what you've accomplished. Not an easy road, but do you have the courage to make it happen? Thanks.